Oh, cool. Here, let me open the gate. Nice. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What happened to your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Alright. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Honestly, no idea if that could hurt me, but I feel like it could. Alright. Atreus Hut. Right. He's never heard of opening a barrel. Look, Must smash with fists. Cellar. Follow me. It just, is it just me or do these guys have very little loot on them? I'm getting bugger off from these guys. Your mother's secrets are here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. She was a witch. Captain Dalton! This guy's quite tough, actually. He's got some kind of slowing status effect. Yeah, because I couldn't move normal speed there. Right, I've got a dagger. I'm guessing that will be restricted to the rogues. What were they called again? Um, they had like an evil sounding name. Magic item. You've picked up a magic item. Cool. Can I equip it though? Uh, it does 9.8 damage. Yes, I kind of like that. I don't, I don't mind daggers. Uh, just, I would like more range, but it's the first magical item I found, and uh, magical items generally kick ass. So what does it actually do? It's uh, lightning damage, and it heals me as well. Nice combo. Ah, uh, yeah, lit. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find your uncle. Stay here no. and find out what you can. I was lonely. Oh. I want companion. Aiden came to me last night. Huh? I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Blinding flash. Cool. Except. Yes. Nice. Right. One interesting thing about this game as well is I've been exclusively controlling it with the mouse. Um, in Diablo 2 there was a lot of things I had to do with buttons uh, on the keyboard to make it more convenient. But this, I, it, I think they've put a lot of effort into streamlining it so that you can control it purely with the mouse. And it's kind of handy because it means that I can kind of Honestly, feels like I can lounge. Feels more relaxed playing it, which is a good thing. Nothing was wrong with the old system, but this is just a. It honestly is a good, a big improvement. Right. God, none of these guys have loot. Right, and that's really useful. I keep hope the thing, the loot that gets me going, is always something with more damage. I love getting a bit of loot that increases my DPS. That's my thing. I pretty much ignore every other stat, which isn't the best way to play games, but generally by the end of any game I get to, I can one-shot most bad guys. Be at peace. Hello? Oh, hello there. Get back! Let's see, any better than what I've got? Nah. Hello there. Um, this dagger's badass. Hey, one thing. Oh. Let's see. I'm curious. Has this got some kind of limited charge or anything? No, it doesn't. It seems like there's no charge. It's just durability, which is good to know. Um, some boots, finally. Um, how's it? It's two damage. Okay. Let's go! Um, what's over here? Tristram Cathedral. The star fell here. Mm, the cool beans. Hello, stump. Let's me try to play Minecraft. Hello there. I'm here to inspect the premises. 
That looks ominous. Oh, wow. I don't actually remember leaping into the chasm, but oh well. Um, the game's done it for me. See, I'm liking this. This is cool. Oh. The star fell here. Very nice. Awesome. I approve. I very much approve. That was really cool. You can do environmental attack. Oh. Cool. So environmental attacks were possible. Okay. Right, so there's a big fat ass down there. Um, a grotesque. Um, this is a new type of enemy, so let's see what happens when I fight him. Not a whole lot. Oh crap! Right, so he has other enemies inside him, that's what you need to know about a grotesque. Hello there! Okay, those guys had sort of lightning surrounding them as well, which is interesting, so we've got sort of elemental bad guys now. The grotesques may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. Cool. I guess when you encounter an enemy you get a little speech on them. I kind of I approve of that. I like getting more information on what I'm fighting. Oh, oh. Bit late, but never mind. Yeah. Um, I think the Blizz definitely need to up the difficulty, because um, my health is really high and I'm just leaping in. I've only used one potion so far. Oh! Um. Alright, he's a boss. Oh! You see that? That was a hard fight, and I still. Well, when I want to say hard, I mean it took a few attacks to beat him. But I still took no damage. Like, really. So, yeah. Blizz, fix it. What we got here? Ah, he'll fail. There's a nostalgia inducing sound effect. Um, 11 monsters killed. Huh? Right. That's cool. So what have I got? Have I picked up anything cool? Nah. So did they give you a DPS rating? Let's see. Damage per second. Yeah, that's it is, it is DPS. That's fine. So, cool. We have a bracer. Alright, so that's wrists and hands. I see. I see. So, uh, nothing I have is better. Um, better boots or wrappings that's an odd thing it looks like every piece of clothing I get looks the same for this guy they just have different strengths so I'm guessing that no matter what you always basically look the same which is a bit of a shame because in the last game it felt really customizable because your character changes look depending on what you're wearing which to me is a, a good thing I kind of like that no two characters looked alike in the last game. Yeah. No challenge whatsoever. I kind of like I want it to be harder. Up the difficulty. Is there a difficulty setting actually? Let's see. Options. Uh, gameplay... Uh, cool. I kind of like being able to see health bars on above monsters. Um, but you can see it anyway, so it's fine. Let's play player. Oh! I thought there was something attacking me there. Nice. 
cool. So that's the way down. Um, I'm still going to explore. There's a few more areas to go here. Let's go! I will fight. Yeah! Right, so go south up here. Yeah. Because I, I always liked. Oh, crap! Um, yeah, I'll be careful of that in the future. Yeah, it shouldn't be that easy to kill everything. Um, I'm guessing massacres kill so many enemies in a short time. Take shoes. That's what we got here. Yeah, they, it looks like every piece of clothing is identical in look. That's a shame. I hope they change that as well. I don't. I don't want everyone to go around looking like the same Kratos. That's hello there. I'm here to kill you all. Yeah, the tests are too bad. They look worse than they are. Right, I keep expecting myself to become like over encumbered or something, but it's not happening. There's my inventory. Uh, that's why. Alright, what's this? Damage lever, double it. This actually looks like it's different. Please be different. Yes! So I was wrong. Awesome. So nothing to fix blizz. I'm happy now. Oh, what's this? There was Lectern. My name is Lactanon, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I lived only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my king through his dark and corrupted heart. This is a flashlight. That was cool. That's the first time I felt like I might have died. That's a fine club you got there. It was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. Cool. Temple Dagger. Cool. Right, where to next? Let's see what's over here. Uh huh. Yeah, Diablo is one of the more compelling parts of the game is the exploration. Um, more so in this game than it was in the past. Because in the past there was far less sort of lore lying around than there is here. I'm enjoying it. Uh. I may have to go back and retroactively stick in a spoiler warning, actually. I didn't expect there to be this much story in the beta. I've also heard that the the level limit is level 10. So... Probably already start to get near it. Yeah, halfway there. When he dies, he takes out other guys as well. Good, he's not biased. Cool. I like that I'm not having to click for each attack as well. When I want to attack an enemy, I just hold the, mu the mouse button down and hover over. And that's enough. I'm not having to click for each separate enemy like used to. Right. What have we here? Lots of bows. 
When we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all the pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. Okay, so that's me sort of explored pretty much everywhere, I think. Is there anything down there? It, must, it looks like there's one room I've not been in. I'll have a quick look. Every time you go by, you can shuffle... Alright, so I've, I've only been away for five minutes, but that's been enough time for them to respawn their gold in the pockets. Yeah, some bad guys. Yes. Please be a good spear. Let's see. What's this do? Nah, it's not that great. Um, Julius. So we're starting to get to the point where my inventory is full. In the last game I would be carrying around a bunch of scroll of town portals, but I have not seen any in this game yet. It's maybe one criticism of the first game, those were far too common, you could always have like 30 of them on you. So that you could always teleport out if you were, like, you could be in the middle of a boss fight and teleport out to sell your loot and heal yourself up and then go back in. So it's probably why they're more scarce now. Ledric's Passage, or Lyric. Oh. Oh, minions, stay back. Deckard. Back. May this web Wow. The skeleton King. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. Wow. He's scary. No, don't kill Deckard. No. I like him. I'll save you, buddy. Get away. I will save you. Back to your grave. He's in God, these guys are kind of like the Skyrim skeletons. They just sort of fall apart when you hit them. Oh, that's him. I don't like you very much. Right, let's see what this does. Nice. The legacy of Ki Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, that just made me really happy. The legacy of Cain. Oh, sorry, I'll... For those that don't know the Blood Omen series of games, the, the first one, Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen, is such a good series of games. And that was a blatant reference. The Legacy of Cain. It's one of my, it's like my, one of my favourite series of games. Even though it's debatable technically how good some of them are, I still love them. Oh, thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? It was not your time, old man. Come. Leah is waiting for you. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Cool. But I'm going to quickly go down here. This looks like somewhere I'll be returning to. This cannot be opened yet. Right. So I'll be coming back to this place. Secret passage. To Cathedral Garden. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me. Never. To Tristram. I must loot this place. So that's one of the things Diablo is very good at as well. It's one of those games where once you've finished like, an area, um, they give you a quick route to the exit, which is always handy. Right. Uh, one thing that would be nice is when I'm running towards a door, I'm kind of just sort of running into it. But you have to actually click it. It'd be nice if you could just sort of run in. I suppose then you could get drawn in by accident, so it makes sense. As you can see, just me being a whiny baby. It must be the end times that people won't even drown their sorrows and drink. I wonder if durability is locked because it's a beta. I'm guessing it is because I've been using it quite heavily and there's no damage. Well, fair enough. Well, let's sell all this junk. Huh? No, 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 sell, sell, sell. 
Sell, sell, sell. Screw it, I'm just gonna sell everything. Sell it. Cool. Decent money. I suppose 10,000 isn't that unrealistic. I've only done a few quests and I'm already largely... Well, a large chunk of the way there. So let's see, the legacy of Cain. So, Reva. Can't believe how happy that makes me. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Time runs short. Tell me what you know of the fallen star. Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Right. I will continue. Thank you. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Nonetheless, the Skeleton King bars my path to the Fallen Star. The key to defeating uh, him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. I'm pretty sure I could just, like, stab oh, him with yeah. my dagger. You should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. Okay, okay. guy. Hello, Deckard. All right. Uh, I'm going to listen to one of these right now. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You cannot believe this. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. That sounds good. Right, oh, well, he's got a little star above him, I wonder what that means. Talk to the blacksmith. Wait a minute, where's the blacksmith? Um, who's the blacksmith? Uh, From the screw east it. Shall come a whose rule begins. It's a go. Yes, yes, I've got some new things in today that Each I... of my no. items is no, no, just alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. Ah, there he is. This turns out to be quick. Deckard King said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It is regrettable, but it must be done. Dude, I will help it's you. easy. I will show you how. Thank you. Show me to your Tell wife me. and I will kill her ass. Hey, come over here. I've got some new things you really need to look. I'm happy ah, to sell you. Nice. But you got to promise not to offense. tell me where you got these I hope you don't take offense. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so these guys are what zombies? Uh, right. Yes, that's so much easier than opening the door. I'm sorry. This must be done. Oh, 
I'm loving this one. Come on, let me slaughter your family. My love, forgive me. Um. Ah, Hedrick, help me. Bleh, bleh. Wife of Hedrick. Nice. See what I get for that. Uh, I want. I really do want a cool spear. Wow, it's a hell of a splat. Without you, I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. As it happens, I am looking for King Leoric's crown. Perhaps you know of it. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. This guy seems really broken up over the the recent slaughter of his wife. <laughs> Get the tiller crowd just to get his ass back here. Yes. I'm Scottish. <laughs>